Hi, everybody. Happy Wednesday. Dion here with the Turquoise Cyrus, just saying hello to YouTube and Facebook, uh, streaming on both devices, so I don't leave anybody else out. Um, normally, I am streaming on Instagram as well, but I've been taking a break from it just because three cameras is a lot. Um, so we're working to actually get one device so we can stream from all of it and get all that set up. So how are you? Um, we are on part six of this makeover and I forgot to tell you that I named it. It's called Timeless Flora. Okay, so if you wanna go back and watch all of these videos, if you don't have an opportunity right now, if you look under the playlist called Timeless Flora, hello everybody, I see you popping on here. You're here every night and I appreciate you so much. Uh, Timeless Flora is what I've named this. So again, the playlist on YouTube, um, you can find all of them right there. This is day six for this piece. We're gonna fine tune a little bit of the details here. We're gonna shape it up. Um, I, I, it's the first time that I've ever done blooms this large and two, um, hi mama. Um, peonies. I've never done them before. So, um, thank you for your mm, kindness with understanding. It's my first time to do it and I'm learning. Um, I do, I, I did some smaller blooms. Those are a little bit easier to do. The large was kind of like, whew, okay. Um, I ended up with a black background with the water lily over it, rolled on, watered down, um, with the brayer. And um, we added some golden ticket yesterday, but Timeless Flora is her name. So I wanna highlight and add a few details to it today. Then I'm gonna shift it to the other side. Then when we come back, this should be dry and I'm gonna do some sanding. I really, um, I really wanna pull back um, and let some of the under layers come through. And so I'm gonna use my sanding block first. And if I decide I wanna do some wet sanding, I may do that as well. Um, but I just wanna welcome you. Thanks for hanging out with us tonight. Matt is here. Hello. Hello. You know, it's, I'm, it's, uh, <laughs> I got to thinking about, have you ever just said, hello? Hello. Hello. Oh, it's always, hello, hello. which I like. Try again or ignore. Hmm? What? I don't know. I just got a weird thing. Um, so that, that's all I'm working on tonight, you guys. I'm going to turn it, and then tomorrow, once we've sanded it, uh, tonight, uh, tomorrow, I'm basically ready to wax. I haven't decided if I'm going to do white, a little bit of white, a little bit of dark, um, or black, or cl just clear. So I'm just going to kind of play around with it tomorrow, so you can um, expect Facebook, that. Hello? Facebook is interrupted. <sighs> I'm so sorry. Hi, guys. Well, I'm just going to jump right in there and get started. Hopefully, Facebook will figure out what it's doing. Um, I'm going to use two different colors, basically a black and a white, whatever color you have. Um, with DIY, I'm using tarnished pearl and weathered wood uh, to highlight. I'm just going to kind of shape up some of these petals, especially the ones that are kind of on the top, as if they were picking up more sunlight than others. You guys have been so supportive on this makeover, and I just want to thank you. This has been really a lot of fun and just, you know, pushing myself to do different things. I think we're done day 83, guys. That was 84. Is it 84? I don't know. Yeah. I like it. Facebook's um, back. We are back in action on Facebook. Okay, so I just know that um, February 1st is my last day. So whatever day that makes this, February 1st is my last day for the 100. Now, whether I continue on or not, who knows? I mean, we're going we're gonna to still do lives. Oh, of course. Unfortunately, y'all are stuck with me either. Of course, you know, actually, if you don't want to watch, you don't have to. <laughs> you had to go out and come back in. Okay, you guys, if you're on Facebook, you got to go all the way out of the app, and then you got to come all the way back in. I think we're good. It's kind of kind of freaking out on us a little bit. Okay, well. Every, a little bit. That's okay. Um, early, I was on live just a minute ago with Melissa Jacobson. She's in my Empowered by Design group, and she, we took us four, no, it took us five times to come on. And then when we got on there, it was kind of choppy. So Facebook is just kind of being a little wonky. Patty Levine, hi Patty. Over to YouTube. Hi Patty. She was on earlier too, and she has been coaching me along with the peonies because I understand that peonies have like a wispy frayed, almost like their petals almost end up with a little bit of ruffle. But I don't think I have the skill just yet to to tackle that. I'm not going to lie. So. I just, I'm afraid if I keep working on them, I will mess them up. Abby thinks so too. <laughs> Did y'all hear Abby? 
<laughs> no, you have to keep coming back every day, Catherine. You're sweet. Um, I, I mean, I'm, I've been here for many years, so <laughs> I doubt I'm really going anywhere, but. No, nah, we'll be here for a while. Yeah. Until I'm enjoying it. If you guys are here, I'll be here. I mean, unless, you know, Matt says, hey, stop. I'm tired of this. <laughs> which, which, that doesn't sound like Matt. We well, yeah, have Rainbow 505. Hi, Rainbow. On. Rita Young showed up. Alice is here. Hi, Catherine Alice. Miles, Bobby White. Hi, yeah. Bobby White's from Alabama. Okay. Guess what's my favorite town in Alabama, honey? Your favorite town? Yes. Uh. Oh, oh come on now. You should know this. Have we been there? We have not been there, but it's my favorite town. Oh. <laughs> well, I don't know then. Greenbow. Oh, because we love forests. Greenbow, Alabama. <laughs> you like to talk with more of an accent than normal. Yes. When you think of Forrest Gump, you just kind of have to do that. Alabama, says Forrest, right? All right, give me a second. We're going to turn it on turn it to the side. We'll add some more highlights, but I'm adding a little bit of white and black, fine-tuning it just a little bit. Um, thank you for saying that they look realistic. I appreciate you so much. I hope that you're all having a great day and a good evening. Um, just send a little blessing out to everybody that having a good, good day. Hope ever, your family as well. And uh, everybody's doing good. Uh, Beauty Luscious said her peony. Your peony. Um, I have a tough one. Peonies. Peonies. Uh, looks so realistic and beautiful. I've been trying to paint peonies with watercolor for the last two hours, and for some reason they end up looking like an octopus. Oh. And then she had the little they're octopus They're hard. Energy. But she's not going to give up, so that's, nope. that's awesome. Don't give up. You have to nope. keep going. You have to keep trying. I think I'm like, I've got them to my, the point where I don't want to mess with them because they're they're okay. They're, they could be better. But um, I feel like, okay, I'm good. I think I just should just not keep working on them because I know that they are, their edges are frayed and a little bit ruffly, but I just don't have that talent just yet. Like I need to practice more in a smaller scale before I do the large. Um, Mama H on YouTube, if you do another round of lives, would you consider smaller furniture pieces, i.e. and lamps, tables, stools, coffee tables? No, not a chance. Uh, <laughs> just to see other ways you could do DIY. No, not a chance. I oh, say that okay. because I don't enjoy doing small pieces of furniture. I really prefer a large landscape. Um, and I don't sell those things at all. Like, I, I'm only going to do things that are, you know, that I'm... Are, oh, hello! Come on in! This is the door. Um, those are just hard things for me to sell and to have around the house while they're... Because I don't have a studio, like an outside. We're all in the house here. So, um... All those little things would be kind of sitting around and in the garage. And so I'm sorry. That's the wrong answer, but it's just it's just the reality. I There's just to... lots of things you can do with DIY paint. Though. Oh, you can I do mean, anything can do with DIY. Stuff. I'm gonna yeah, you can do anything with the DIY paint. Uh for Francisco sure. Braga. Yeah. OMG, 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 XOXO, XOXO, XO. Lots of heart faces, lots of red hearts, lots of claps, and Brazil flag. I think that's a Brazilian flag. Are you guessing or do you it, know? Well, my eyes may be deceiving me, but it looks Brazilian. Awesome. Well, welcome. So I hope the OMGs are good. I think so because there's a lot of happy faces and hearts and oh, clappies. Okay. A lot of clappy hands. Okay. Not jazz hands, but clap hands. Clappy hands. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, teaspoon is joining us. Hi, Teaspoon. Okay, Welcome. We have a question. Catherine Miles. Hey, Catherine. Why do fan brushes separate when you dip them in paint? Well, you know, this is my turquoise iris one, and this is not separating. It's just because you have too much paint on them. If they go to separate, it's because you've loaded them too heavy. They're not intended to hold very much paint. So if you if they separate, then you need to thin them out and get the paint off of there. Because this I've loaded and it doesn't have, they're not separated. I hope that makes sense. So start over, maybe they have too much water in them. Dry your brush and then start over. 
Uh, Jasmine Smith's here tonight. She says, I've been watching the clock to make sure I caught you live. Oh. Hashtag Matt is the best ever. No, you added that. Media guy slash video. Media guy. Choreographer slash. You guys. Paint what a, assistant. I don't know what I'm going to do with you. Something of like that. Is that what it said? Yeah. Uh huh. It kind of rambled on. Uh, Rita Young, she has a question. What color is that you're using now? This is Tarnished Pearl. Tarnished Pearl. Okay. So now I need a little black, which I forgot to use on the front, like I said I was going to. Um, okay. I just want to add a little bit of detail. Did you tell them about the ants? What I did? You did nothing. <laughs> what was that vicious little laugh? Did you add an ant? I put ants on there. You better not have. They're hidden. You have to really look for them, but there's ants on there somewhere. Woods? You better be teasing me. Maybe, maybe not. Mm. You guys were really encouraging him to put ants in there. So if we get in an argument over these ants, I'm going to blame you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron Shear just joined. Hi. I'm just doing a few little highlights, you guys. I like to see a little bit of black and white in almost all of my artwork. It just kind of frames things, especially. Um, just kind of framing it out a little bit. Wendy Moore's pretty excited about what kind of wax finish you're going to use. I know, and I don't know yet, so I'm kind of excited. Uh, the wax just, it totally is the icing on the cake, so I'm, I'm getting pretty excited about that tomorrow, too. Erin says, hello, and she gave me some, some pretty big red hearts. Aw, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. <laughs> Leah, Leah Gilbert Harper. Hi, Leah. Not all of us encouraged ants. <laughs> Exclamation point. <laughs> Thank you, Lee. Some of you said, please, no insects. Yeah, Rita Young, she, I think she thinks she sees the ant. You think there. you see it? <laughs> I'll sand it off, Woods. Karen Brown, do you remember way back when Matt wouldn't let himself be heard or seen? Man, you got back in the way back machine, Karen. <laughs> Yes, I remember. Uh, Patty Levine has a question for Dion. Any thoughts about how you would like to stage this piece? You know, Patty, it's funny because I'm obviously going to have to keep it really simple as to not compete. And um, I am thinking about it, and I'm wondering what it would look like. Um, I mean, I want to put real flowers with it. I kind of want to have pink peonies, but I don't peonies, but I don't know where I'm going to get them. Um, to be honest with you, I don't know of any of the stores that are going to have them. Um, so I'm not sure yet. I would love your suggestions though, Patty, if you have any, or want to send me some peonies. Of course, they're not blooming right now. It doesn't help. When do they, when do they normally, is it a summer, spring, or? I think it's a spring and summer. Spring and summer? I okay. think so. You th correct me if I'm wrong, you guys. And, um... I really like the little blooms. I think I'm going to definitely do some of these smaller ones. They were a lot easier. And uh, I definitely plan on doing some of those. What, Matthew? Uh, Catherine Miles has a question. Yes, Again. Dear. Uh, do you think Debbie will bring her DIY paint to Australia? The opposition DB just came here. Um, that entails a lot, Catherine. That's, it's a lot um, involved in that. Um, not that she hasn't wanted to. It's just, it's, I would say that nothing is out of the question. Uh, Wendy Moore says maybe some silk pennies. Peony, 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 pe
I'm gonna sand, and then I, I guess we could even bring the camera closer if we wanted to. Yeah, I think you should, once you get to a good point. Okay, well, before I sand, I'll do that. So, some people are saying it's uh, uh, May, June. Uh, Patty Levine said it's May, June in uh, New Jersey. So, okay, that's when they start blooming there. Do they love the heat? Yeah, I okay. think they're definitely... Have we ever planted them before? No, your mom loves them. Okay. But she'll, she has, if they're hard because they get so top heavy. Um, and then Jeff, Jeff may actually grow them. I can't remember. Well, Patty says she's somewhere. She has a box of fake flowers that look really good. I'm ha she said she's happy to send them your way. <laughs> oh, thank you. I have a bunch of fake ones, but I really, um, of course I want to have, you know, fresh ones with peonies, but... That won't happen, will it? Okay, leave that alone, Dion. Leave it alone, leave it alone. So let me bring the camera in closer and we'll do some sanding and then tomorrow we'll do some waxing and then it'll be finished and I am super excited to stage it. Let me put these in some water. And you are going to sand tonight, right? Yeah, I'm gonna sand right now. Okay, first off, I'm gonna bring the camera closer because I said I would, and uh, let you just see some of the details, the gold. Oopsie, sorry. You know, you have a lot of really smart people on, on Facebook and YouTube. Really smart people? Really smart people. This is a smart crowd. It is, very smart crowd. I've learned so much about this flower and ants. It's insane. I had no idea that it was such an interesting flower. I just thought it was really pretty. So I just wanted to show you a little bit closer. And... Karen Brown says, uh, maybe put like an ant trap in the staging. <laughs> Not gonna happen, Karen Brown. <laughs> Not gonna happen. Uh, that's funny. No ants on my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get you back here, guys. Thank you so much. Do you like it? Hearts, thumbs up. Do you like it? Like, like I said, the first night. What was it? The first night that I started painting the flowers, my heart was like pounding. I was like, I love doing flowers, but I've never done this before, so I'm so nervous. So we're gonna go to sanding now. Is that the is that the next trade trick? There's no trick, baby. Oh, no tricks. No tricks involved. It was no tricks when I tell everybody what I'm doing. Okay, all right. All but right. I am gonna go ahead and sand a little bit. And do some sanding. Not a trick. You know what I like about sanding? No. You can erase your imperfections. Um. Mm, you can erase the imperfections. Not that there is any, right? I honestly, I love the way that this black and blue looks together that I want to pull just a little bit out from underneath. And if I can, I may, I may wet sand, but I'm going to try to do this a little bit. Yeah, see how that's coming off? That's perfect. And if you're missing the pictures, I've been going back every night and taking close-ups and posting them in the comments on Facebook and under community on YouTube. So what sand grade are you using? 220. 220. That's pretty much all I ever use. Got it. Matt, we need a Velcro in this door closed. It keeps opening on me. Velcro? Velcro. I, I'm pretty <laughs> sure I'm not going to Velcro the, no, no. the door. I meant to say put a magnet on here. Put the top and on the bottom. That's hilarious. Velcro. <laughs> That's the problem with trying to paint while you're talking and... Not as easy as it looks, ladies and gentlemen. Painting, talking. Leah Gilbert Harper, she says you truly turned this one out, D Money. Thanks, sis. Is that your online name, D Money? No, just oh. Lee. Okay, all right. Just Lee calls me that. I mean, I kind of like it. D Money. I'm a nick 
nickname girl too. So I, it just, I know people call you nicknames when they love you. are you guys thinking that I should do? They want to know, uh, see through the just curious if you're going to wet sand as well. I'm going to see how much I can do with just this, and if I feel like I need to go further, then I am going to dampen a rag and see what I can do with that. So I will answer you soon. Oh yeah, see the black's starting to come through right here. I love that. Left, uh, I think it's pronounced Mayor, Left Mayor? Meyer. Meyer, okay. Mayor, Meyer. Sorry about that. Um, hello, I'm new to your channel. Love your technique of painting and love hubby's wit. Oh, yes. Loves my wit. You're witty, huh? I'm very witty. Are you? Yes. Okay, yeah, I love this texture. This is awesome. Well, thanks for being here, Les Meyer. Yes. Thank you for watching. Yep. Thank you, thank you. I read a comment the other day and Les said, STOP in capital letters. <laughs> and I said, no yelling. I think that they're really, they're discussing what type of wax now, honey. Well, what, I'm taking suggestions. The, there's, a, there's a lot of white been thrown out. A lot of white on both Facebook and YouTube. Okay. Uh, Abigail Flower Little. She says, love it. Looking beautiful, D. And hello. Hey, Matt. Abby. Oh, look what Abby made, honey. Love to show me. I want to see it. It's Lytle. Lytle. That's what I said. Did I say little? little? Oh, I'm sorry. Lytle. That's okay. Sorry about that. Look what Abby sent me today. So these, um, she's a ceramic artist. And she created these for artists to use for their paint palettes. So you can use these with watercolors or whatever, but you can put your colors in your water. And these are kind of like her prototypes. And I get to try them. Thank you, Abby. She makes all my bowls. Oh, uh, they're throwing out some good stuff now. Okay, got ideas? Okay, um... Have you ever sanded a piece like Jamie with an electric sander? Um, I used to do that. I just don't use the electric sander with DIY paint because it's not necessary. Um, so I just like a little bit more control. So that's why I use the sanding sponge and the wet sponge. But I used to use an electric sander a lot when I was using um, latex, paint. latex paint, but not with, not with DIY. Um, there's a, uh, okay, get this, honey. Maybe clear wax first. White wax on the flowers and a wee bit of dark on the leaves. Wow. Yeah. They're they're really uh I like coming it. up with some good ideas here. Oh I like that. Yep, that's a great idea. I usually use two or three colored waxes, so it's very possible. Yeah, they've got some good ones in here. Uh Teresa Rogers, uh, touch of black wax. Um, Jasmine says, I don't know one, but I'd like to see some dark wax. Okay. So it's kind of a mixture of both on, on both uh, YouTube and uh, Facebook. I'm creating a lot of texture where this undergrain is coming through here. And I know you can't see that, but I think it'll be really highlighted when the wax is put on. This is all coming through, the leaves and the black. Um, it's looking really, really good. I'm, I'm really happy with the wax, I mean, with the sanding, you guys. 
I'm sorry if this is boring, but it has to be done because I want it prepped and ready by tomorrow to um, put wax on it. And there's nothing toxic about what I'm using, and so that's why I don't mind that I'm right here in the studio around Abby and Matt and I. Um, there's nothing toxic in DIY paint. My main thing is I don't want this to look like I just painted it. So we've got to distress it. We've got to age it a little bit. And we've got to put some colored waxes on it that make it look as if it were painted a while ago and not this week. Uh, Catherine Miles says, make a little gold wax and some gold wax, please. <laughs> yeah, I could definitely do that. That's a great idea, Catherine. I'm going to put that on the top list, top of my list. Okay, now let me turn it on. And you did say you're probably going to use some white wax, right? Um, it's possible. Guys, I don't know. I usually use white, clear, black, brown, you know, one of those four. But I really like the idea of adding gold to my clear to creating a gold wax. So that could be a very good possibility. And other colors as well. Leah Gilbert Harper. Uh, I almost would, I almost would say dark wax on the flowers, except in the center, and white wax in the center of the flowers and the leaves. Getting, getting specific with that. We are, and we're going to play, that's for sure. We're going to play tomorrow. Yes, look at all that coming through. Does it really need it? Perfect as is. Thank you, but wax is what I use to seal it. Um, since it's a clay-based paint, it really needs a top coat or a sealer um, to really finish it off. And honestly, wax is my favorite part of the final look because it's like I said, the icing on the cake. So yeah, I and also when you use colored waxes, you get more texture and depth. So yes, it's I'm really looking forward to it. But thank you for saying that it's perfect as is. I appreciate that so much. Yes, and Smith says arm work out, LOL. Yes. Strong arm, strong arm, strong arm. Well, and I'm trying to do it a lot faster because y'all are watching and I'm like, this is boring. So I'm trying to actually do it faster. <laughs> no, you're good, honey. They enjoy watching the process. Thank you. And do you buff the wax or do you have to buff the wax? What you're doing when you're buffing, you guys, you're pulling the, um, whoops, wedding ring. It's best to buff it, yes. You don't have to. And I, there were, um, I used to prefer the dullness of it because I didn't want it to be buffed. But when you do buff it, A, creates the shine, but it creates all of that, um, it creates the molecules to tighten and become more hard and durable. So it's actually best if you do go ahead and buff. So it is necessary and it's not that big of a deal. It just takes a few minutes. Um, my favorite tool to buff with is the buff from Paint Pixie. And so after I wax 24 hours later, I just go back in with this it didn't have to be 24 hours, to be honest with you. Our wax dries so quickly. Then you can just use this and shine that up. But this is looking really great. Um, I don't like the way this bottom leaf looks, so I'm going to go ahead and grab some water on a rag right now and wet sand this because I don't like this. 
Um, so I'm either gonna. You're gonna have to drop it a little bit because they can't really see. Yeah. I know. Like this little section leaf down here, I don't really care for it. And so I'm going to soften it a little bit. So it give me a memento. Uh, Rob Gloria, Gian, when you're sanding, does it matter to go with the grain? Are you creating texture as well? I am creating texture. So I do not worry about the grain when I'm sanding, only when I'm painting. Uh, ADR says maybe a couple spots of crackle stamp, then a wax. It's a good idea. It's a real good idea. I'm gonna wet sand most of this leaf off. That's just water, right? Yeah, this is just water, reactivating it and making it look, I don't mind that the green is there. I'm actually cool with the green being there. I just kind of want it mostly distressed as if it, it lends itself to being green, but not necessarily this perfectly shaped leaf that's down here, I don't really care for. Hilda Rodriguez Coronado. Hi, Hilda. Says, those look like peonies. Hey, girl, that's right. So, <laughs> I want to make sure you, I read that to you because that's what they're supposed to be. Thank you, Hilda. I think she knew that she was being nice. Because <laughs> that's something she would do. Thank you. It's called Timeless Flora. Um, so if you miss it or you want to watch it again later, if you guys, I have it under the playlist called Timeless Flora. I always try to name my pieces so they're easier to find by playlist on YouTube. Okay, so that looks way better to me. Do you see the difference, Matthew? I do see the difference. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Claudia Moon Powell, have you ever put something like plaster on the flowers to get them to raise up? No, nope, I haven't. Debbie does quite a bit of that, right? With the IOD molds? Uh, she uses IOD molds, yep. yep. She creates her own flowers and stuff, yeah. I haven't ventured to do one of those pieces with the molds yet. I'm intimidated and I'm like, not quite as patient as some people. And so <laughs> I haven't done the molds yet on a piece that's covered in those molds. So I, I like this a lot better. It's darkened right now because it's wet, but I like that a whole lot better. I, actually, I'm the one that wanted to do something like that. Yeah, and you are welcome to start a project and do it here, and I'll film you, and you can go live, and we'll watch you do it. I don't go live. <laughs> Why is that? I don't know. Oh, my word. There's a little bit more right here that I wanted to do. Sandra, I hope I say this right, I apologize. Sandra Capara? Capara? Parra, yeah. Uh, she says, I'm new to your channel and started to watch your work on this piece tonight, not knowing I was going to catch you live tonight also. You oh. ace this beautiful work. Oh, thank you so much. Welcome to our channel. I would love if you would hit the subscribe and turn on the bell. That way you actually get notified when I'm live. I've been going live every single day on Facebook and YouTube. I've kind of challenged myself to do 100 lives in 100 days, but it's actually going to end up being 100 lives in 103 days because Thanksgiving and Christmas, that, yeah. So, um, but welcome. I'm glad you're here. I'm on social media as the Turquoise Cyrus. I sell tutorials and I host workshops um, right now kind of all over the country. Lots of fun stuff. Oh, this is nice. Nancy Martin. Yes, Nancy. On Facebook. Yeah. You have given me inspiration to try this. Oh. Very nice. Great. Be sure you tag me when you try it if you post on social media. If you don't, that's fine. But if you do, I'd love to see your work. Guys, I'm just wet sanding. I'm kind of spraying it on here and then I'm pulling some of the, the leaves back off. I wasn't really happy with them. I wasn't sure the direction I was going when I first got started that night. So. Distressing it, pulling the paint off the edges a little bit. So I can get it all set before we wax tomorrow, you all. 
I do need to wipe the whole thing down and get all of the powder off since I sanded it. I need to wipe the whole thing down, but you don't have to do that on here. This looks really good though. I'm pulling the pink and green and some of the black starting to come through the base coat. Yes. Um, are you thinking about wet sanding the flowers? Nope. Everything but maybe? Yeah, just the areas. I'm just wet sanding the areas that I wasn't very happy with, that I felt like my technique was kind of like, ugh. And so I'm almost erasing what I don't like. That's what I'm doing, to be honest with you. I feel like I'm sitting on something sharp. <laughs> don't laugh at me. It's not nice. I just realized I'm like, that's something. They are just dying to know what color wax you're going to use. You have to change I mean, tomorrow. it's like the anticipation is crazy right now. Colored, <laughs> clear, combo of both, maybe all three. I like the all three. I think that'll be pretty. Do something different. I think mean, I use all three all the time. No way. Yes, I do. I use three. No way. Oh my gosh, you've got to pay better attention. Once. I'm reading. I do a lot of reading. I know. You. It's like I'll say something and then you'll ask me the question that I just said. That is not true. It is so true. It's even true at home in the kitchen. Yes, that's right, uh, Gail. Stay tuned. It's like that. It's like those uh, commercials or those cliffhangers. You know, they, those episodes where you're watching really intent. You want to find out it's almost the end, and then all of a sudden you realize you have to take time to watch next week. That's like Friday on a soap opera. Growing up, I used to watch soap opera offers with my grandmother. The Friday afternoon when the show would end, the soap opera. How am I going to wait two days to see if he dies or not? That was so dramatic. I remember teenager, teenage watching soap operas. That may have just revealed my age, even though, <laughs> even though I say my age all the time, so it's not a big deal. Karen Brown says, tune in tomorrow for wax. Tune in tomorrow for wax. You're going to need, you're gonna need a, lot of, a, lot of, a lot of stuff to say, honey. It's good stuff. All right, I could keep messing with this because this is really good stuff right here. And you probably will. And I probably will, but I should get ready for bed. So I'm not getting in bed at midnight, right, Matt? <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, I know. I should. Okay. Uh, Deb C. would like to know, what are you going to use to wipe down the dust? Oh, just a dry cloth. Just a dry, clean cloth to pull all the dust off. And then before I actually wax tomorrow, I'll do it again for any air dust that may have settled. Um, oh, wow. Was General Hospital, was that like the one to watch? No. Because there's quite a few, quite a few at General Hospital, Luke and Laura. And then Patty Levine says, we used to rush home to watch General Hospital. General Hospital. Um, so my grandmother, my, children. my grandmother watched the other channel. She watched um, As the World Turns, Guiding Light. And the Young and the Restless, and they came on boom, 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 back to back. So Young and the Restless was first, then As the World Turns, and then Guiding Light. And so that was the channel we watched. I think it was nine. I think nine at the time, CBS. Um, so Holden was on As the World Turns. So now I have a what? Holden. Yes, honey, I told you that boy was handsome on that show. Oh my God, General Hospital since 1965. Uh, is that was it on that long? Yes. Wow, yeah. I didn't know that. Well, I mean, when it was on in 85, 90, that wasn't like it was, you know, 25 years running, but um, yeah, General Hospital. Yeah. I mean, that's really good for a, a no, show. No, those are good yeah, because they had their awesome. loyal, loyal fans. Um, the Bold and the Beautiful, yes. Bold and the Beautiful. Mm -hmm. and Victor they're, they're Newman. Of our lives. I mean, he was if fierce. We took, if we took a poll, there might be some uh, claws come out. There's, they they love their uh, I'm telling you they love their daytime specials. No, I'm telling you, my grand my grandmother, mm, grandmother Janita, not Iris. <laughs> Gina, I, I'm sorry, I can't. I'm um, gonna take a shot at it. Uh, Berdachi, 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 Berdachi. Oh, just okay. just go with Hashtag it. Hashtag Victor Newman. Yes, Victor Newman, Young and the Restless. He was the wealthy dude. Yep. All right, you guys, thank you for being here. Thank you for letting me add some highlights with the black and the white. And then um, I did some sanding. So tomorrow we wax. It'll be a surprise because 
I don't know either, but I'm gonna get it figured out. Um, have a great night and I'll see you back Thursday. Same place, same times. Same times. Mm -hmm. Same back channel. Yeah, ready to go to bed. Same turquoise channel. You gotta do that. Turquoise channel like that? Same turquoise channel. Okay, we're bringing out the cheese factor same, tonight. Same Not to disappoint. Turquoise time. Night.